I am super duper excited for this episode because of spoiler reasons. You don't know, and it was in the description, so should know. I have read the entire Promise Neverland manga. I know what's going to happen. There's some details I'll of course forget because I've this is my first revisit of these chapters since they were released originally, but let's get in to it. <laughs> it's probably this episode or the next one. I'm just like, oh, this is going to happen next, which is the entire show. So don't worry about being like, oh, this must be an important one. No, it, it's there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm looking forward to. That's just like, I can't wait. Oh, no, it's big and important. No, it was just really cool. I, I was the whole thing. That's not to say it's not important. But, it's just not the metric to go by. <laughs> That's really the coldest th- no, well, the coldest. It at least cook the rabbit! Good god! The little, uh, the tie, the, uh, the string, or the rubber band, whatever it is. I love that it was kind of, the, the, the watch, or what, the clock was kind of smeared a little. <laughs> I miss Phil already. Don't make me think about Phil. <laughs> Yeah, he was pretty awesome. <laughs> I still love the doofy look. I wonder if that was ins yeah yeah insulting. Really? They really gave her a great voice. Okay, I get, I get that, uh, that she's cool with her and all that, but it still has to be a little creepy to touch the hands. Just one of those chills things, you know? You only have two guesses left.
Nice to be out of that forest after how dangerous it was. Mm-hmm. I, it's not really. I get. I agree. You're right. You're one hundred percent right, Ray. But I, I, I sort of understand. It's the first good thing that's really happened since they've escaped Gracefield House. So it's like I can understand wanting to cling to that a little for the young ones. Shows like The Promised Neverland are a fundamental problem for me because I just get genuinely giddy when I enjoy a show enough. It's, it's not really the best for reactions. <laughs> I actually like Sanju more in the anime than I did in the manga. Um, I think his personality's coming across a bit better. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this little tidbit. This is actually a somewhat similar philosophy to a character we're going to meet eventually. Hey, this is better than, uh, anyone else. So it's like, I can't, I can't be too mad at this guy because he's, he has a code, okay? That's a lot of muscle. Woof! <laughs> Too much muscle. What the? F oh, okay. <laughs> it was like, did he literally just collapse uh, because his oversized muscular body couldn't handle itself anymore? <laughs> And there's nothing here.
There's a rock. SpongeBob would be able to make good use of it. <laughs> that little one you just like <laughs> Yeah, there's no reason to panic right away. Is it a video? Oh, it's a map. Cool. I would by the way, this is what I was excited for. I was I was right, it was in this episode. <laughs> Alright, let's go meet our Desmond type deal character. I'm lost. I would, I would actually kind of love if someone just popped out the door like, How's it going? <laughs> just complete bullshit jump scare. It would be dumb, but... <laughs> Oh, but don't pick it up. Those things aren't light. Be careful. Yep. Standardized procedures. <laughs> Straight to business. Soil's good too, right? Uh, UV lamps in there? <laughs> mm. 
Did they have a piano at Gracefield? I don't recall seeing it, but they might have. <laughs> Whoa. I forgot about you. Cool. There's gonna be fan theories about how the one kid knew everything! Bath or food? Rock on. <laughs> I'm amazed that you had steamed towels. Happiness is here again. <laughs> Never seen kids this excited to get a bath. Life, it, it feels normal. This is the first time you felt like something was normal. A big ass tub, actually. I get that it's a necessity for a place like this, but wow. But nothing's perfect, right? <laughs> and you can... So long as you're, uh, responsible with your ag agriculture early on, there shouldn't be any risk of contamination, either. Definitely do not use that until you are confident uh, that it, uh, what you want to do with it. They went outside, that's good. Would have probably also been wise to go a certain distance away from, uh...
Luckily, radio signals aren't typically something that would be traced easily without intent. And in they go. Whoa. <laughs> oh, the, the happiness can't be held on to for long, can it? What we got? I don't actually remember what they used the phone for. Shit. Um, I screwed up, said something that is basically a spoiler earlier in the episode. I'm gonna put a little time code in the description, say, hey, there, like this 30 second gap is a spoiler. <laughs> what I get for being overconfident with my timetables. That was an awesome episode. Honestly, there's not going to be one I don't think that for. All right, next time.